thus far we have used the while do end while loop we have used the repeat for count loop the the loops we have used so far you would have noticed one thing we were always checking whether the condition was true and then executing the body of the loop at times we require a loop where it doesn't check the condition first it checks the condition at the end by this what i mean is it allows the body of the loop to execute at least once and then only the condition is checked so we shall now be discussing about such a loop which is called as the repeat until loop what this repeat until loop does in algorithm is it executes or it is guaranteed to execute the body of statements contained between repeat and until at least once even if the condition is failing at the very first time so it is guaranteed to execute at least once then the major difference with this repeat until and the other loops is whereas both the loops while do and repeat for count executed as long as the condition was true this loop is going to execute as long as the condition remains false the minute the condition becomes true it will come out of the body of the loop so let's try to understand the syntax and also explain to you the further details of this particular loop so i have repeat until then i have the condition and sa to sn represent the instructions or statements in an algorithm or a given language so what it does is suppose i say condition okay say so let's say the condition number equal to 0 so as long as i am not entering zero this body of loop is going to repeatedly execute the minute i enter zero this condition becomes true so this is kind of different from the previous loop in the sense as long as the condition is false it will continue to execute this statements between repeat and until the minute the condition becomes true it will come out of the body of the loop now let's try to understand what problem are we going to be able to solve using the repeat until loop so the algorithm being asked by us to write is write algorithm to find the final count of positive numbers and the count of negative numbers the program should halt on entering zero so what this particular algorithm is asking us to do is write the logic where a user is going to enter numbers either the numbers are going to be positive or negative when the user enters zero then i am going to halt the execution of this algorithm when i halt at that point i should print how many positive numbers the user entered and how many negative numbers the user entered that's number 1 now first thing you need to decide is what is going to be your condition suppose i have a variable called as num where i am reading the input numbers so my condition here is going to be repeat until num equal to 0 so as long as the user is not entering 0 this block of statements is going to execute again and again the minute user enters 0 here somewhere then this condition becomes true and i'll come out and print the final count of positive and negative numbers so in order to understand the logic of this particular problem let us try to take a look at the algorithm the first step what i am doing is i have declared a variable called as number where the user is going to enter the number from the keyboard pause counter is going to keep track of how many positive numbers the user has entered neck counter is going to keep track of how many negative numbers the user has entered now what i am going to do here is i am going to now use the repeat until block before i talk about what is in the repeat until block i'll just give you an idea of the structure of the repeat until block so what i have done here is all right i hope this is fine all right so here what i have done is i am reading a number within this repeat and until as long as the number is not zero i am going to execute these statements which is between repeat and until the minute the user enters the number as zero this condition becomes true and i am going to come out once i come out what i am going to do here is i am simply going to print that 
there were so many positive numbers entered and there were so many negative numbers entered by the user now let's try to take a look at this repeat until logic okay suppose a user enters a series of numbers if the number happens to be positive that is greater than 0 then i am going to increase the count of positive numbers by 1 if the number happened to be less than 0 then i am going to increase the count of negative numbers by 1 this process of reading and checking whether the number is positive or negative will keep on happening endlessly the minute the user enters 0 here this will be false this will be false this condition becomes true i am going to come and print this particular result now in order to understand the working of this particular algorithm we shall take a look at a series of numbers and try to run through a trace or a test run to see how this algorithm is working so first thing what i have done is i am assuming my input set of numbers are going to be minus 1 3 4 minus 2 minus 9 6 5 2 and 0 I am not entering these numbers at one shot. I am reading one number at a time. When the user enters one number, I am going to do processing, then come back here, read the second number. So don't think I am reading all these numbers at one shot. I am reading them one at a time. So according to the algorithm, I have made positive counter zero, negative counter zero. Read number, I am reading minus one. So when I read minus one, minus one is greater than zero is false. Now is minus 1 less than 0 is true so value of negative number count is going to be increased by negative number count plus 1 that's why you see here negative counter has become 1 then i go back i come to 3 in the repeat i read the next number which is 3 when i read 3 3 is greater than 0 then positive counter is equal to 0 plus 1 because 3 is a positive number so now negative counter is 1 positive counter also has become 1 then I go back read the next number. Next number happens to be 4. Is 4 greater than 0 is true. So positive counter is old value of positive counter plus 1. So it is 1 plus 1 it becomes 2. Negative counter remains as it is. Then I go back I read the next number. Next number is minus 2. Minus 2 greater than 0 false. Minus 2 less than 0 true. So negative counter is 1 plus 1. The old value was 1. 1 plus 1 it becomes 2. So now so far we have read 2 positive numbers and two negative numbers now i read the next number next number is minus 9 minus 9 greater than 0 false minus 9 less than 0 true negative counter is 2 2 plus 1 becomes 3 so negative counter is 3 positive counter is 2 now i proceed go ahead and read 6 is 6 greater than 0 yes then what i do is positive counter is positive counter plus 1 which is 2 plus 1 it becomes 3 so far I have read 3 positive and 3 negative numbers. You can take a look by counting at all the positive and negative numbers so far. Then what happens is I read 5. When I read 5, 5 is greater than 0. Positive counter is going to become 3 plus 1, it is going to become 4. Negative counter remains unchanged. Then I go back, I read 2. 2 is greater than 0 is still true. Positive counter is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. Then I come to until, see here. 2 is not still 0 so the condition remains false so every time in when i come in the loop whatever numbers i am reading is being compared with 0 since none of them are 0 i am going back and reading number now when i read the next number it happens to be 0 now because i have read 0 0 is not greater than 0 0 is not less than 0 0 is equal to 0 so this condition fails now i come here i have printed the count of positive numbers as 5 count of negative numbers as 3 you can verify that by counting the positive and negative numbers here so this is the logic using repeat until loop how i read positive and negative numbers in a sequence and when zero is entered i print the total count of positive and total count of negative numbers i hope the logic of this particular algorithm is clear and you have got a very good example to understand how a repeat until loop works in real life.